Condit, Director of Jazz Ensembles here at Lamar University, and with me is Dr. Jimmy Simmons, the former president of Lamar, and we'd like to welcome you to our final concert for this year's Jimmy Simmons Jazz Festival. We have a great lineup, some great artists, and we know that you're going to really enjoy watching the program tonight. But before we begin, I'd like to publicly acknowledge and thank you, Jimmy, and your wife, Susan, for your continued support of our students and encouragement of, of everything that we do here in the music department. Uh, your uh, oversight of the uh, Jean and Rudy Williams Scholarship Fund has allowed our students to have access to things that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do. So. Uh, Every member of the Cardinal Jazz Orchestra receives a scholarship money, and it's also helped to support all these great artists that we have here at the festival. So we're very, very thankful for that and for your continued support, again, of the whole department. And I know your interest in uh, Lamar and our music department goes uh, back long before you were the president of Lamar. Um, you're uh, an accomplished saxophonist, jazz fan, and jazz player, and clarinetist and pianist, and I um, wonder if you could tell us a little bit about uh, the history of the jazz program here and your involvement in it at Lamar. Sure, I can. I'd be glad to, Rick. Um, first, I want to, again, express my appreciation to Susan's parents, um, Rudy and Jean Williams, for making possible this wonderful uh, uh, award, the, the, the wonderful money that we're able to award these students. Uh, uh, that was a terrific donation on their part, and Susan and I were so appreciative of it, as, as our students in the music department is. A little bit about the history. I came here in 1970, but I grew up in Beaumont, so during the 60s, um, the director of the jazz band here, Richard Burkhart, had invited me to come out as a high school student and play with the jazz band. And Richard Burkhart was from the same high school that Bill Evans graduated from. So he had a terrific jazz background. He was also a wonderful, legitimate, of course, trumpet player. And he started the jazz band program here and called it the Technicians. And uh, gosh, we played dance gigs and he started bringing guest artists in, uh, gosh, in, in the late 50s. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the wonderful names we had. We had uh, Irby Green, you remember Irby? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he brought Doc Severinsen in. And when that was before, that was really a big deal. Uh, we had a trumpet player that would come play with us named George Alexander, who ended up being in Johnny Coltrane's quartet. So there were some wonderful players that were in this region at that time. And he would bring community people in to play with us. And of course, all the, the kids in the, in, the, in the college played. So. It's got a really rich and vital history. And I want to thank Richard Burkhart. He, he is the uh, emeritus trumpet teacher at uh, Ohio University. Mm. He left here and went to Ohio and had a great career there. Mm. So uh, again, when I came, uh, it was kind of all laid out. So in 1970, uh, we just kept going with it. And it was just, uh, I think I had more fun doing that than any other job I've ever had. Hmm. Uh, we had some great kids and had some great artists come in, and those were thrilling times for me and the musicians. And it's continued through the years. Till today, yeah. under your wonderful leadership. Oh, you. I'm so proud of you. Uh, you know, and you had to be a saxophone player, too. So well, it, it, it is was, the best. You know, I know. <laughs> what, else could, could you, what else could you want to lead a jazz program? <laughs> well, we have some wonderful... Uh, guest artists uh, tonight. We had some great clinicians even for our bands and we had, uh, because we're all virtual, uh, we were able to reach out to some of the really outstanding jazz musicians in the field and ask them to record hour-long jazz clinics for each section uh, in the band, in the jazz band, uh, trumpet, trombone, saxophone, and rhythm section, and we were able to distribute those to all of the bands that are participating in the festival, and you got a chance to watch a few of those uh, clinics, didn't you? I, I tell you, Rick, <laughs> not only watch them, but learn from them. Mm -hmm. These were, and, and I hate to admit it, but some of these people were new to my musical vocabulary, to, my, to the repertoire I had heard. I just could not believe Jeff Coffin. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a wonderful player, and all of the new uh, technology he's bringing to the table. 
Uh, I said, you and I need to get some of that technology because <laughs> it's terrific. Right. And I mean, that percussion section with Bobby, uh, those were, you know, you learn so much from these guys. Yeah. And that may be even better than the in-person because you can save these and use them over and over right. and, and, and let kids look at them and learn from them for years to come. That's right. And they had access to all of their technology and resources where they live that they could share with the students as yeah. well. Right? And during this COVID ec epidemic, um, I, I bet they were more than anxious to participate to help students across the country. They were. They were very, very happy to do that, and we were happy to have them. So. Well, I wanted to tell you a little bit about our uh, concert tonight. We've got a, a great lineup, as I said. We've, uh, uh, we have some guest artists. Uh, the first band that you'll hear is the actually the Lamar Cardinal Jazz Orchestra. We're going to be playing three tunes. One of them is an original composition by uh, Kyle Athade. It was entitled The Storm. And it's a very prophetic title, uh, given all that we've been through in this region in the last year. So uh, I think you'll really enjoy that. It's sort of dark and ominous, and, and I think it really uh, is a very apt title. Also, we're going to be playing a piece called Rat Race, uh, which will feature guest solos by uh, three of our clinicians, Kyle Athade, uh, Ingrid Jensen, a great jazz trumpet player from New York, and Bobby Sanabria as well, that we mentioned already. And then a the last piece called uh, Phrygian Five, which was uh, uh, filmed uh, on the uh, at the uh, Spindletop Center here, or Spindletop Museum on the Lamar campus, and it's uh, thanks to the fancy and creative uh, video work of Dr. Eric Shannon, our director of athletic bands. Uh, we we actually recorded it here in the department, but you'll see us playing over there, and so it's it's really a fun and creative. Uh, video and we think you'll enjoy that and that'll again feature uh, Soren Zlat, the, one of our guest artists. Uh, after that group, uh, after our group, you'll hear the duo of Sullivan Fortner and Kyle Athade, great pianist and vibraphonist, young, young super talented uh, musicians uh, and uh, you don't want to miss that. And then fi finally, uh, a group that we're calling the European Jazz All-Stars, which is fronted by and put together by uh, the great European jazz pianist Soren Zlat, who was who is uh, living in Romania, but he was our guest uh, two years ago here in Beaumont at the Jefferson Theater. We had a great concert with him, and so it, it's kind of a collage of different groups uh, that he's performed with and performing with, and uh, that's, it's, it'll, be, it'll be very interesting. So you've had a chance to preview a little bit of that, and um, so wanted to remind you that uh, on the bottom of uh, this YouTube video, you should be able to find a link to the program for the festival. So we, we invite you to have a look at that, and there'll be a lot more detailed information on and biographies of our clinicians and the participating bands and so forth. And so uh, you'll, you'll be able to get all the information here that we're, we're not giving you there that we're not giving you here. So again, I'd like to thank you very much, Jimmy, for being here with My us today pleasure. and for your, your participation in the, in the festival and in our department. It's, uh, we couldn't do it without you, so it's, it's, it's great. Thank you so much. Now we'd like to invite you to enjoy the concert.
Hello, my name is Sullivan Fortner. My name is Kyle Athade. And we sincerely hope you guys enjoy our program today. We have a good lineup of tunes that we like to play with each other, some that we've never played before, uh, some that we that's been in our repertoire for the last year or so. And um, one that's been in our repertoire for about three days. Yeah. Original compilation. Originals. <laughs> uh, so we hope that you guys enjoy what you hear. Um, please follow us on all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Cash App, PayPal, all that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy the show. Thank yeah. you so much. We want to thank Lamar University and the Jimmy Simmons Jazz Festival for having us. Super excited to be playing. So without further ado, let's start the show. Thank you. 
this is an actually why don't you why don't you talk about it? Okay, um so <laughs> this piece was written by uh Kyle's father. Um and I just found out that um he wrote it at a wine cellar? At a winery, yeah. At a winery, yeah. Um this tune is a really beautiful tune. Um it's titled Ravenswood, written by Bob Thade. Also on our album T for Two. Yeah. Which you can get everywhere you get music online, so go get it.
<laughs> that work? It works. All, All right. right. <laughs> so I'm kind of in between titles of it. This is an original composition of mine, kind of fresh out the oven. Um, I kind of <laughs> caught oven. between pizza con chick or chick pizza. It's dedicated to Chick Corea, and the last time I got an opportunity to hang with him, God rest his soul, was on the Blue Note Jazz Cruise, and we had a pizza, and we were talking about Scarlatti. Um, so this is written in dedication to him and his memory, and um, also, you know, Mr. Benny Green, and um, Donald Brown, and Margaret Miller, and so many other great piano players that have had a direct impact on my life. So... Chick con pizza or pizza con chick or chick pizza? <laughs> Y'all decide, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
This next one is a fun one. Sullivan and I had both seen the movie that is, this song is the title track of the movie, and it's performed by Louis Armstrong, but we never had talked about this piece before. And the only reason it came up was because I was looking through a database of tunes in the public domain, which mm -hmm. means they were written, I think, over 95 years ago. And this is one of those tunes. This is High Society, and we based our version off of the Louis Armstrong version. Yeah. So yeah, we hope you enjoy it.
This next piece comes from a suggestion by Sullivan to do a classical piece, like a song or a piano piece, something like that, and then do our own version of it. And I came across this piece about a year ago, um, just seeing it on a Facebook post, a beautiful recording of uh, Heifetz, Horowitz, and Piatigorsky playing it. And it's the second movement of Mendelssohn's D minor trio. Uh, which is originally written for the standard piano trio, which is piano, violin, and viola. And so we uh, made up a lead sheet of it and listened to it a bunch and kind of messed around with it until we came up with this, which is our version of the second movement, the slow movement of Mendelssohn's D minor trio. It's really pretty. Hope you guys enjoy it.
This next piece is an original composition of mine, which is also on our album, T for Two, which you can find at Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, everywhere you get music, so go check it out. The composition was inspired by the theme songs for different uh, Japanese cartoons, and they just have these great rock beats, really uplifting melodies, so I wanted to try to capture that vibe with my tune, and uh, but mine isn't for a particular cartoon, so I don't have any sort of creative name for it, so it's just called Anime Theme Song. We hope you enjoy. It's a cute song. I like it. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> This next piece is written by a composer who was born on the same day as me, almost 100 years earlier though, that's W.C. Handy, born November 16th, and this is the St. Louis Blues, and I really like it, because I like the minor section, I like the, the main melody, and I like the fact that W.C. Handy and I share the same birthday. But that's the only interesting thing I have to say yeah, about it. And piece. that's really the only reason why we played it. No. <laughs> <laughs> please no. <laughs> please enjoy the St. Louis Blues. Oh yeah. Thank you. 
final piece of our set and we want to thank you all for listening and thank Lamar University and the Jimmy Simmons Jazz Festival for having us. It's been super fun. We love playing together and we try to do as much as we can but of course over the last year we haven't done it at all. So yeah. getting yeah. Sullivan to come out here to the Bay Area and record this video has been really fun. Um, this, COVID free. Yes. Yeah, both of us. So I'm very mm. happy about that. Uh, this piece is very special for us because uh, one of the ways that we connect is through the old musicians that we love to listen to. And one of the greatest recordings by one of the greatest pianists is, of course, Art Tatum's recording of Tiger Rag. And uh, I also like Tiger Rag because it's <clears throat> originally by the, um, original, the original, original Dixieland. Dixieland band from New Orleans, Sullivan is from a suburb of New Orleans, spent a lot of time in the city. Yeah, went to school up. and did all that <laughs> stuff there. So, uh, so yeah, it's fun, fun for me too. Yeah. But again, we just want to thank you for listening to us, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the festival, and we hope you enjoy Tiger Rag. Thank you. Thank you very much for having us. See you soon. <laughs>
Hello, my name is Surin Slant. I am just pianist, composer and arranger. It is a great joy and honor to participate in Lamar University Jimmy Simons Jazz Festival. Now I am in my home studio from Bucharest, Romania, and I have the pleasure to present you some videos of my collaborations with musicians from Romania, Europe and USA. The most beautiful part of performing online is that you can play with musicians all over the world. The first tune that we will listen is a composition of mine called On Time. I will perform with two great musicians, Mike Alex on double bass and Julian Nicolaus on drums. This tune is dedicated to my sister Ivana Marco and it's on my first album called Endurance. One, two, three. <laughs>
next tune it's a jazz standard if i should lose you composed by ralph reimer on this recording i had the honor to play with the grammy awarded harmonica player howard levy on double bass and drums is the great italian musician Gianluca Renzi.
have the pleasure to present you a video collaboration with the viola player George Dumitriu. George is an old friend of mine from Romania. Now he lives in Amsterdam and after many years we reconnected and we decided to record the tune together. On double bass we will see again Gianluca Renzi and on drums it's a very talented young musician from Italy, Egidio Gentile. Here it's Inner Urge by Joe Henderson. <music> Thank you. 
song it's a composition written by me called Rimbaud in Berlin. The video is part of a concert that I had in London at King Place Concert Hall. Here I performed together with the based London musicians Michele Montoli on double bass and Angie Trim on drums. <laughs>
I present you another composition of mine that is called Sparkling Water. In this video I perform in a quartet formula with the great Romanian musicians Catalin Mila on saxophone, Mikhail Acker on double bass and Julian Nicolau on drums. Thank you. 
It's Eternal Child by Chikorea. This video is very special for me because Chikorea is one of my favorite musicians of all times. He inspired me since I was a child and I want to honor his memory with this recording. Here I perform with two great American musicians, Dennis Marks on double bass and Clyde Connor on drums. I had the chance and the honor to play in the same formula at Jacksonville Jazz Festival in the opening act for the Maestro Chikorea. A dream come true in that day and I will keep forever a phrase in my soul that Maestro told me. Keep up the great work and spread your talent with the world.
The next one is another composition written by me called The Land of Dreams. This will also be the title of my next album that I hope to be released very soon. In this video I perform with the great Spanish saxophonist Gianni Galliardi, Gianluca Renzi on double bass and Julian Nicolau on drums.
next video will feature a very talented singer from New York, the great Ashley Pezzotti. On double bass is Gianno Carenzi and Egidio Gentile on drums. The tune is called I Mean You by Telonius Monk. I ain't got a fancy bill of goods to sell. Ask me who I'm talking about and I'll tell you. You, who's the one that got me dizzy and turned around all upside down? Who has got me in a tizzy? You know who, I mean you. Who inspired this emotion? I'm on sound, going round and round. This devotion, you know who I mean you, I mean you, you dish the dirt. I mean you look at I got hurt. Yeah, you put a hurting on me, and I'm glad I sure ain't mad. Who's the one I always want to? You know who I mean you. I ain't got a man to build the goods to sell. Ask me who I'm talking about. Got me dizzy and turn around all upside down.
down Who has got me in it to see? You know who, I mean you Who inspired this emotion? I'm on sound, I'm going round and round Motivated this devotion You know who, I mean you Before I will present you the last tune, I would like to thank to all the musicians who took part in this musical journey. Also, I want to express my special thanks to Rick Condit for the invitation to be part of this great festival. Thank you, Rick. So, the last tune is called Involution and is composed by me and arranged for big band by the great musician Jan Karen. This project is called the Global Big Band and brings together musicians from all over the world. Many thanks to the great saxophone player Woody Witt who helped me gather some of these great, wonderful musicians. You will hear him on this recording performing a beautiful solo. Thank you for watching me and I hope I will be soon in USA to perform on a real stage. Until then, you can check my music on social media channels. All the best from Bucharest.